Hey everyone, what's up? I'm back again with another podcast and today's guest is an awesome person. He's really, really cool. I've been enjoying watching his streams because he's a Twitch streamer and he is known as N7 Mark. Welcome, Mark. What's up? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm Merck. I uh, I play video games on the internet. What's up? How's your weekend been? It's been it's been a weekend. It's it's been it's been a thing. Uh, I mean, just work, you know, just work. A little bit of chilling. Mostly just fucking work, you know. Wait, I can cuss, right? Yes. Shit, I didn't. Uh, okay, cool. So, you, you know, I I, yeah. I should have watched one of your your podcasts because like I know you sent me one a while back, right? And mm -hmm. like. I put it in my mind, like, I'm going to watch that. I need to watch that. Completely forgot about it. It's okay. You can do it afterwards. Yeah, I am <laughs> I'm, I am a dumb person. My bad. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> You're not. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm excited to start. Like, yeah, I just want everyone to get to know you better because you're quite a fascinating person. And how I came across Mac was... Like, I think only from June last year, I would take Twitch seriously and I would follow a lot of streamers. And then I think he popped up on recommended channels and it was for uh, Stardew Valley, which I just started playing last year. And I'm still like in the beginning. And spoiler alert, that's going to be one of our topics for today because we both really enjoy Stardew. Honestly, I'd say Stardew is like an of like my all-time favorite games it's like top three it's got to be like top three you know what i watched yesterday it was like the first ever trailer for stardew and like just seeing all the graphics and how everything has changed it's crazy yeah i was gonna say i, I don't think i've ever seen that like like i've seen some of the like evolution of stardew you know like where like it, it would show like some of the early sprites like the early drawings and stuff like i've seen that but i've never seen like the original trailer and stuff that's awesome. So there's this page on Facebook that I follow. I think it's called Potato Games. Excuse me. They post a lot of like Stardew related shit in Sims. <laughs> and some are like the best memes ever related to Stardew. <laughs> it's like if you're married to Sebastian or Haley, this is what's most likely to happen. Ah, uh, yep. Like getting a bomb in your mailbox because your best friend's dad is like good friends with your spouse it's like honey came to send us a bomb again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> here's uh, what your stardew romance says about you oh god yeah there's there's a lot of those and on tiktok those are the ones i always see usually that or i'm weird i watch youtube shorts literally the same thing <laughs> but like i i always forget that i have tiktok installed <laughs> It's easy. What do you just go to the short section on YouTube? I, I just like my YouTube is weird. Like I just open up YouTube. Whatever's there is like, oh, that's interesting. If not, mm -hmm. I scroll a little bit and then shorts right there. I'm like, ah, oh, let me see this real quick. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Hour later. What? I haven't done <laughs> anything? Shit. Yeah, that happens. That happens a lot. I think you sent me a short the other day. It was yeah, a limerick. Probably was amazing probably what made you get into twitch streaming honestly i don't know Nah, it was um destiny played a shit ton of destiny when the game first came out destiny one so this is like 2014 like when the game first came out and um i played with my cousin and a friend that i worked with and i put a lot more time than they did so they were constantly asking me hey how did you get that gun hey how did you do this how did you because at that time destiny was such a big mystery like no one i mean there had really never been a game like it other than like like borderlands or halo but it's like a mix of all those games together so certain guns and armor and stuff you get through like very unique activities so like they would ask me hey how'd you get that how'd you get this well how do you do this like show me how to do that and I really couldn't show them. So like uh, the friend that I worked with was like, you should stream on Twitch. I'm like, how do I do that? Like, like I had watched Twitch streams, right? But I had never thought about doing it. And um, <laughs> this is stupid because initially when I started it, I streamed directly from the Xbox, like the broadcast thing, like the built-in broadcast system that it had. 
So I streamed through that. I didn't know that other people could watch me. <laughs> that That's how dumb I was to it. I was so naive and dumb about it. So I would like, I hit the go live thing. And of course my cousin would be watching and my friend. And then just randomly like, a week into it some other person showed up and i was like who the fuck is this like who? And so i kind of ignored them I, I didn't know who they were so i just ignored them but the, i didn't know that people followed either like next thing i knew i had like 15 followers i was like what the f who are these people i don't know who they are and then as time went on i would kind of start talking to them in chat and whatnot and then it just kept going it just never stopped how long have you been to streaming 2014 oh my god yeah almost 10 years yeah because in september i guess it would be 10 years because it was basically the launch of d1 so september oh, yeah. 9th 20th around there it was a little bit after the launch of d1 was there a point where you started taking your streaming seriously like because i know that you sell merch um when did you yeah now started okay so is it like recent that you only started taking it seriously like, yeah oh like, i can make money from this yeah i mean like even then it wasn't even like the money or anything it was like people genuinely liked watching me and i felt like mm -hmm. i didn't it's not that i felt obligated it's just like i felt like i was making people whether it like feel something or they were enjoying something or whatever so i'm like you know what i guess i'll keep doing it like this this is cool yeah sure i could make a little bit on the side as well look that's nice but i i think the merch thing it literally just happened because uh i was like i just made a joke because i always say like smile i always say like smile or brunch <laughs> or like that so i was like what, what if I made that a, a hoodie and then people were like, oh, that'd be awesome. Do it. I was like, oh, uh -huh. okay, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> and how did your handle come to be? Oh, my name? Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. uh, my, the N7 is from Mass Effect. I initially, uh, in Mass Effect 3, there was a multiplayer and I was all over it. I loved it. Um, There was a a class or like a a character you could play called the n7 slayer and i thought that was really cool i like that i would like to have my name as that someone already took it so i was like shit all right um i played a lot of call of duty and like i liked the term like oh you're merking them oh like like shit like that and like i, I like i would hear that and i was like that's cool and one of my favorite call of duty players their name was merk so I was like, what if I just put those together? Mm. N7 and Merc. Sure, that works. That's so awesome. Was, yeah, I just put those two together. I like it. <laughs> okay, so what would you say are your top three favorite games? Shit. I don't know. I don't know about all time or at the moment. Recently, it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> God damn it. I can't stop playing that. That's uh, Honestly, I hadn't streamed in a while just because I was playing the shit out of that game. I wanted to beat it. I was like, I need to finish this because I have almost 500 hours in it. And you, uh, have you finished it since we last spoke? I remember you finally, said you yeah. Oh, congrats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, finally. And now I got to do it again. <laughs> it's so good. It's so damn good. Uh, that, I don't want to say that's number one because like Mass Effect 2 is up there. I love Mass Effect 2, one of my favorite games. Stardew Valley is probably like two or three, which is surprising to me because Stardew, like, initially when I played it, I didn't like it. I thought this is boring. This is kind of dumb. But I played it with uh, my girlfriend at the time. This was many, many years ago. I didn't get the game, but I felt like I was a hindrance to her. And I was like, shit, I need to learn this. Like, I need to learn this. I feel like I'm doing nothing. I'm just going to the mines and dying. Like, I suck. <laughs> I started my own, like, single-player world just so I can, like, get to know the game and actually learn it. And when I did, I found that I was playing it a lot more than, like, just with them. And then even after we broke up, I just still kept playing it. Like, I was like, it's such a good game. So it quickly rose up there to, like, this is, this is fucking fun it is well speaking of multiplayer and single player 
uh, I just want your opinion. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the gameplay is very different when it's multiplayer. Like, yeah, it feels like you don't get a lot done. And then the cutscenes are also different for each person. Like, you'll maybe get to have that cutscene with with Jojo guy when he goes to Pierre. But then, mm. like, the person you're playing with will only have that encounter maybe, like, a few days later. Um, yeah. What's your opinion on the difference between single and multiplayer and Stardew? I feel like it's it's definitely... It was originally made, obviously, for, like, a single-player game, right? So it's curated to that. But I feel like it could be fun multiplayer if you have, like, two people that have already kind of been through the game. Yeah. They've already experienced most of it like even if it's not all of it at least some of it that way they can more or less know what they're doing and another little thing that i like doing is um there's a farm specifically for multiplayer there's the four corners farm so like if you do have a friend or two start up that farm kind of divide it up like all right i'll get this side this side you get the other two you can work on like the animals or you can work on this and like so in that sense it's great it's fun but the narrative is a little weird than the multiplayer but i think it has gotten a lot more attention to the multiplayer that now now it's better i can't stand multiplayer when it's this goes for minecraft though i recently had an experience in minecraft it was last year yeah this shit my friend we were supposed to do our own individual things like you mentioned but this guy he kept wanting to do whatever i wanted to do and it frustrated me so much because it was like a miscommunication thing i was like okay but i want to work on the house and the design and you go fishing because you wanted to do that initially and he's like no but the house doesn't look right i need to fix it with you it's like uh. <laughs> so that could happen and start you too it's like that's why it's better if you do your own things and like mm -hmm. you have an understanding. Maybe maybe you start a game and then you go, okay, this time I'll do the chopping and you do the hoeing. And it's like mm -hmm. the next time it's like, okay, I'll do the hoeing, you do the chopping and so on and so forth. Another thing that's pretty cool with Stardew is the money thing, right? Like you can choose whether you want like separate money or joint money. Really? So like, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, you can have shared money or separate money. So, like, if you get into that situation of, like, you're supposed to be doing this, like, uh -huh. well, I want to do this. Like, motherfucker, well, get your own money then. Where's the setting for that? Uh, you're like, hey, I need to know. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> um, It's like when you start the game, there's, like, a little cog, like, like a little option um, setting thing. Right it's in there. the game. Yeah, or, or, like, say you decide later you want to do it, you can go to Mayor Lewis go to Mary Lewis there should be like a book like some sort of like book or journal in his house like on the left yes it's like a ticket booth okay so mm -hmm. let's talk the update so have you been playing oh you've been playing Baldur's Gate this time so like oh, yeah. I don't think you've been doing a lot of Stardew with the update I mean like I played a little bit like I I did start a brand new farm because I wanted to like experience because I have one farm that's been going for quite a while it's a farm that i want to get 100 percent complete right like i want to do everything complete every single thing i want to see the like true ending or whatever it's called i want to see that but um i started a new one just for the update so i started doing some of that and um i also started a farm with my friend ames and with count which i feel bad because i kind of forgot <laughs> and neglected it but you know i'll get back to it i swear <laughs> So uh, I still like really want to strangle you for something because last year you challenged me to complete the community center in a year. And I'm like, uh -huh. I, I got frustrated by that because I really tried my best. I didn't get too far with that. But now I've been trying it again and I'm like, whoa, like it's possible, but it's also almost impossible. Like I'm on year that damn three. Damn red cabbage, that damn cabbage. Really? That was your problem? I think I bought that from the traveling merchant. I know, like, if you don't get it from there, or if you get lucky in Skull Cavern, the only way you can get it is in year two. Oh, God. So, you know yeah. what I'm stuck on is um, getting a yam. I think it's a yam from the fall. A yam? 
Yeah, because I forgot to grow it in the past two years. I'm on year three now. I just started year three. I'm in spring. Mm. <laughs> and traveling merchant doesn't have that. And then there's also like, yeah. I need to get a red snapper, a catfish, a few mm. other fish, I think an Fucking eel. Fucking catfish. Fucking catfish. <laughs> I hate the damn catfish. Like if but I don't get it, you're like day three. If I don't get it day three, I'm not getting it. I'm like, yeah. fuck, I'm screwed. Oh, and then there's, but this is my own bad. It's like, I need to upgrade my coop because I need to mm. get a rabbit's foot. And that's the other thing that's missing from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And apples, three apples. I only just started growing my apple tree. <laughs> um, The way I always did the apples was, oh, no. I was going to say, I, I usually get it from uh the fruit bats, the bats in the cave. Oh my word. Okay, so that's the other thing. I, I tend to go to Reddit a lot when mm. you're given those options. It's like, which yeah. is better? The artisan or I forgot what the other thing is. Uh, or a chopper and, you know, like those. Oh, those, right, right, right. And yeah. then they give like the most popular answers, the most upvoted. And it's like, okay, let me let me just get vast majority of it. Okay, I'll choose that option. So now mm. everyone's been saying, get the mushrooms because the fruits yeah. will always like go up like around whenever throughout the years but i keep hearing that the fruit bat cave is a lot better than the mushrooms um i think the that the fruit bats is good if you're trying to get the community center done quickly but in the long term yeah the mushrooms is better because that's like no matter what every day you're going to get food that you can eat or and every day you're going to get just money you could just sell them or you can eat it did you see with the update that they now have this like dryer that you can make uh, dried mushrooms oh but you. oh my god that's great it. yeah yeah there's there's so many cool things concerned ape is still going on with updates i don't know if you've seen his latest tweet i think for 1.6.4 mm -hmm. um there's there's a lot of new things like now we're going to be involved with the raccoon family by this huge tree that when you go down. Oh, right, right, right. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, have you met them yet or not? No, I have not. No. Me neither. <laughs> and I, I'm dying here because like it's it's the third year and I still haven't met them. Um, but it, I'm really impressed by this update. What's also happened is um, when you unlock the Calico des Desert with the boss, um, mm -hmm they have this three-day festival it's a new one it's a main event oh, right i saw that yeah it's so cool and i just played it i think i played it yesterday and oh god it's it's really nice because you get to interact with everyone there and there's this race that you can bet on with shoe biscuits and <laughs> <laughs> it's cargo and <laughs> it's really cute <laughs> that's great I was I was enjoying that a lot. So, um, who are your main uh, interests when it comes to spouses in the game? Well, Haley's the easiest. Um, <laughs> there, so I literally have a quote in my stream um, about Haley. I forget what the uh, Vinny would know the quote number. I think it's like quote seven or eight, but it's married Haley, divorced her, turned our children into doves. And I don't remember the whole thing. Vinny would know it. Vinny would know okay. the whole thing. Okay. But um, I was like, damn, I should have married her sister. I married her <laughs> sister. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, God, I am the worst. But I would say Haley's the easiest. Because, uh, I mean, just, just fucking give her flowers. Just give her flowers in the beginning. Oh. If, if you get lucky. Uh, her birthday is like, what is it? It's the 12th of spring, I think. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. But like, just give her a daffodil. You're chilling. Like, she's so easy. Really? Uh, yeah, she's like was, the easiest. I thought it was just coconut and birthday cake. Yeah, no, yeah, the, like those for sure. But those are harder to get early in the game. So okay. like, so I just do daffodils. Like, it's globally liked by everyone. Like, they don't love it, but it's still like plus two or plus four or something like that. So I just do that or. I like Abigail. Abigail's cute. Gamer girl. Hell yeah. Um, Shane, because he's a mood. 
Did you manage to help her finish the what is it? The prairie call of the I forgot what the game's called. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The um the journey of the prairie king. Yeah. <laughs> I struggle so much with that. What? I love that game. <laughs> it's so fun. Apparently, you get to unlock achievements when you win it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. like, everyone does, like, perfect completion, and apparently then there's, like, two left. And that's a meme. It's, like, Journey. What? Journey of the Prairie King. Mm, something like that. <laughs> and then the other one is the, uh, what's the fucking cart one? Mm -hmm. It's the cart game that's in uh that's in the saloon. Damn it, I don't remember what it's oh, called. But okay. Junimo Kart, Junimo Kart, that's what it's called. Oh, I hate it. I, I don't hate think it. I've played it. Don't. You don't need to. <laughs> it's awful. I hate it. It makes me upset. Okay, so you said Shane because he's a mood. Have you ever gone for Sebastian? Surprisingly, no, because like. That's the type of guy that I would be into, you know I'm, what I'm saying? I'm so like judging you right now. For exactly. Not going for Sebastian. I get it. I get it. But like <laughs> Shane is a mood, you know what I'm saying? Like I relate to you. Love me. Oh, I, I was will give thinking, you all of the pizza. I was thinking of the drinking part. That too. You know what? <laughs> like you don't have a stepsister, do you? Or is it his real sister? Who? I know I know that Marnie is um Shane's aunt. Yeah. But like is Jazz his sister? That would be I don't I don't remember shit. I don't remember. I think that's his cousin niece. I don't I don't know, dude. I don't remember. Shane. But then they, they stay together. You and you don't learn much about that history, do you? Like that whole family by you Marnie's. Do, but like Okay. I kind of don't remember. Well, um, my go-to's Sebastian. <laughs> He's of course. really hot. <laughs> and then I went for Sam on my mobile game. But now with the replay with the update, I decided to go for Alex. And he's quite a sweetheart, but I don't like that whole sports type room in my house. Puts me on. Right. <laughs> but then, but like... then he'll work out sometimes and he's shirtless. It's like Oh my god! You, I feel like you do Alex, you. I'm like Alex is so ugh, he's so basic. Oh shame! But he's got those cute grandparents. I like I like Evelyn and George. Granny, gotta love Granny. Love They're granny. so sweet. Um, when it comes to girls, oh I love Abigail. Oh my god, I think I love all of them. I love Haley. I love Emily. I love Leah. But like all in their own ways. But then I was like, I think I should go for Mark's girl sometime. Your uh. Which one was a Penny? Oh my God, Penny! <laughs> How did I forget about Penny? Oh, she's so sweet. Penny's so sweet. I love Penny. I remember... Penny and Maru are great. Oh, Maru! I remember you said like in a cutscene or something you can help fix up uh, Penny's mom's house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, <laughs> but yeah, you can do that. Um, Games come like... out like. Almost a decade now. I don't think yeah, it's know, really a know. spoiler. <laughs> yeah. um, there's a, I think it's it's really late in the game. Uh, basically, once you've upgraded like everything and you have everything done, you can go to Robin at some point. I forget how much. I think it's like a, it's not a million gold. I don't remember how much gold it is. Mm -hmm. But um, instead of the trailer, build her a whole new house. Pretty cool. Hold up. So does this just go for your relationship with Penny or is this like in general that you can fix up the house? No, it, it, it's just in general. It's really? Upgrade. Yeah. Is there a lot you can do in upgrading um, uh, Pelican you can, Sound? You can do that one. There's a shortcut thing that you can do where like it just adds little like little back entrances to like certain parts of the town. Like it connects... Oh. Um, so like where the museum is, there's like a little path you could go down to get to the beach. Um, where Robin's house is, there's like another way you can get down to um, north of where the Joja Mart is. It's like a little pathway. There's so, one that connects the bus stop to the mountain pass. So it's nothing to do with the totems or the mine carts? No. Oh, okay. Side note, this guy's a lot further in Saryu than I am. 
something. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I got to see his farm. <laughs> his farm is amazing. <laughs> My farm isn't even that good. Like it <laughs> one day I will legit decorate it because it's not decorated. Yes, I've been decorating my farm that I'm currently working yeah. on. <laughs> and I try to keep everything organized. So this this new farm, I forgot what it's called, but it gives you blue grass and it's so useful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My poor farm animals would go hungry in my other games, like during winter, because Marnie mm -hmm. is only open on certain days. Oh my god. Just gotta stock up. You gotta stock up. What do you mean stock up? Because when uh, I when I harvest mm -hmm. oh silos, plural term, yeah. I only have yeah. one. Uh I usually get two to three, depending how many animals because I got like I think I no, I only have one barn full of uh pigs i have two barns i remember one All is full truffle. of pigs yeah <laughs> oh those truffles those truffles are money oh but, yes um oh yeah so i have one barn that's just full of pigs uh the other barn I have ostriches in there I have ostriches mm -hmm. and one cow just because it's a one. goat i think i think i have a goat i don't remember and then the I have two coops, both of the coops, or one is rabbits, and or one is rabbits, chickens, and one duck, and then the other one's just full of dinos. Here's a question for you. Can you specify which kind of animals you want in each barn and coop? Because I think I struggled with that in my other farm. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know if you could, like, separate them. I thought that the bunnies and the chickens and the dinos would have to stay together. Like you can coop. you can move them between like each barn or like mm -hmm. each coop you can move them but for the life of me i do not remember how to do it uh, but i know <laughs> you can move them all right okay there that's interesting okay yeah, that so in mind. Like, yeah oh and void chickens i forget i, I had void chickens mm, they're the best. just because they look cool yeah oh, oh and one them. blue chicken yeah I one blue chicken so there's this meme that people are like, yeah, no, I'm only romancing Shane so I can get free blue chickens. Exactly. <laughs> I, I needed a blue chicken. That's literally yeah. why I like that. That's why I spent time on like my uh, uh my complete farm because I wanted one of everything. So I'm like, Shane, take take all the beer, take all the pizza, just give me the damn chicken. Need it. And once I got it, I abandoned him again. No, oh, it's fine. When you grow your, your friendships with each person, you are granted some kind of reward. Uh, yeah. Like if you marry them too, then they'll just randomly make you pancakes or healthy meals. But then in the mail, that's when they drop frozen tears or cookies or... Pam and her batteries. Dude, Pam is one of the best people to be friends with. She sends mm -hmm. you batteries. She, she sends you like some end game shit. It's like, oh, damn. Plus beer. Do you remember what Carolyn likes? Because she's the one that gives you the tea maker Carolyn, thing. Carolyn, Carolyn, Carolyn. It's Pierre's okay. wife, the green yeah. egg chick. God damn it, no. Carolyn. What the hell do you like? I don't know. <laughs> I, at this point, I just give people, like, <laughs> listen, I haven't looked at the wiki in a minute. Okay. Like the wiki. <laughs> hey, it, 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 okay, it, was it was just me. <laughs> I think I still have it. Hold up. It's still, yep, it's right there. I, I have it bookmarked. <laughs> Fuck. on on my taskbar it's right there i just That's gotta amazing. open it up there go. yeah it's fucking bookmarked i don't have very many things bookmarked but stardew valley wiki is one of them yeah but, it's it's uh, so useful yeah like at, at this point i just give people like rabbit's feet i'm like here you go i got like 90 <laughs> of them take it a lot of people like eggs oh and then there's elliot elliot is he likes his squid ink and his duck feathers Gucci ass Elliot. <laughs> um, I forgot how you unlock the chance to repair the boat to go to Ginger Island. I don't know how to get, get that ability to be able to see the boat. And he's like, okay, you need all of these things. Because at the moment the door is still locked. Yeah, you gotta um have you completed the community center yet? No. You gotta complete the community center. Oh, uh, and then Jojo oh. Mark gets, oh, you know what's funny, Mac, is that um, I saw a meme and I did it myself. You can now put grass starters or maybe you could for a long while, you could put grass starters in Jojo Mark and you can just scatter it. Ah. And whenever you go in, you just see this place filled with grass. 
Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and I, I want to, I want to place things. Here's my fear. I want to place things around Stardew Valley, like the, I don't know, like the jam makers or the honey, well, yeah. honeys, the the beehives and stuff. I remember, like for your, some of your areas, you would place them like just underneath the pathways. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you place it like anywhere so long as it's not in areas where the characters walk around? Because I had a bad experience. I had a chest of valuables on the beach. Oh, no. <laughs> and Who broke it? Was, it was Who broke it? Elliot? I'm, I'm sure it was Haley. <laughs> because it was God in her, it. her direction, you know, where the towels are and stuff. Oh, God damn it, Haley. <laughs> that bitch. Now you see why I divorced her. <laughs> so long as it's not in anyone's way, then I could just place anything. Yeah. Everyone wants to. Uh, one of the places that's really good is the quarry because like after you've yeah. mined up everything at the quarry no one goes there it takes forever for the oh, stuff to regenerate true. so but okay. like you could put kegs there you could put preserve jars you could put anything over there it's just very impressive that one person did this shit like dude I've had, I don't know how many hours I have in the fucking game, but it's a lot. And I don't, it, it's, I, I think that's another thing that got me into it is like when my girlfriend at the time told me like, oh, this game was made by, by one person. And like that tripped me out. And then it made me want to learn more about like the journey of the game and like how he literally made it because he loved Harvest Moon, right? <sighs> and he was like, I just wish it was Harvest Moon, but better. Like, I want Harvest Moon, but I want to be able to go to the city and interact with these people. And, uh, and so he did it. He made his own Harvest Moon style game and so much better. I think that, fantastic. that drew me into it even more. I want to give a shout out to Concerned Ape. I don't think he'll ever see this, but if he did... It's just thank you for creating such an amazing game. And it's, it, it helps so much with anxiety. Okay, so <laughs> I have some friends. Shout out to the Holy Goofs. I have interviewed them before um, <laughs> during one of their streams. Um, they were chopping wood and they were fishing. And one of the people in the stream was like, I can't handle repetitive sounds. It is so annoying. And I'm like, that's true. Like some people might actually find that irritating, but I mm -hmm. like it. I like it. It's right. relaxing. Like like when you when you mine rocks, that's basically a golf ball hitting the hole. Bro, but like the sounds in Stardew Valley, I don't know what it is. Like the sound of just harvesting blueberries <laughs> is so fucking satisfying. The sound that it makes, I love it. I fucking I love it. There you go. Yeah. The fucking <laughs> popping sound that it makes when the fucking blueberries. And when you got a giant field of blueberries and you're just running through harvesting them bitches, it's like bubble wrap, dude. I love it. It's so satisfying to hold in the right button and then just harvest everything, including it, mushrooms. And it just tickles so that nice. feeling in my brain, you know? So satisfying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you mentioned earlier that you really enjoy Baldur's Gate. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Baldur's fucking gate. Yeah, honestly, like, it took me by surprise. It legitimately took me by surprise. Cause, like, so I heard about it, right? Like, you hear about, oh, it's game of the year for this. It, it won this award. It won this. And, like, it's winning all these awards, right? I, I got to it late. I got to it like five or six months late after it had already been out. And, like, I, I don't normally, so when a game is hyped up that much, right? I kind of go into it a little a little pessimistic in a way cuz I'm like there's no there's no way, right? Because I've been let down by a shit ton of games, Starfield. I've I've been let down by a shit ton of games, right? And like so I didn't want to like buy into the hype. So when I first started playing it, I was like this is weird. I don't like the camera system. It like the combat is like slow and like I never really liked turn based style combat to begin with. And now, my first experience, I played it with a friend, right? I played it with Ames. 
one of my good friends, Ames actually did this, uh, me, did me, that's, that's <laughs> the thing you're seeing, me, Ames do that. shout out to Ames, they're great. Um, but I, I played it with Ames, right? We both felt kind of eh about it, right? So like, they, so they played it first and they were enjoying it. I joined them and we both felt like this multiplayer is a little weird. It's a little clunky. We didn't quite like it. And then I played it by myself. I just did my own thing, played it. I wanted to give it a good shot. And next thing I knew, it was 7 a.m. And mm -hmm. I was supposed to be going to sleep. And I'm like, oh, okay, I think I get it, you know? You do realize that your interest for Baldur's Gate is very similar to how it came to be with Stardew. That you tried multiple is it? first and then oh yeah yeah tried single yeah that's yeah, pretty is. cool yeah shit I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't really realize that yeah I guess so but but kind of different because like well yes the same but also kind of different because like I didn't feel like I was a hindrance in that game that's what made me want to get into it like Baldur's I just felt like the multiplayer wasn't it, it just felt clunky because. It's made, I, I think the way the multiplayer is made for is for like a second go round. Like once you've played it the first time, you can go through it again or like playing with a friend who hasn't done it. So like um, me and Count have a game going, me and Ames have a game going where like I'm way ahead of them, right? Like I'm so far ahead of them. So like it's good for me to kind of like help them through because the game, it's very, very, very complex and it's there's so many options so many choices that i can see for some people it can be overwhelming because i was fucking overwhelmed i was shit i got into <laughs> act three i got into act three i opened my map i get to the lower city i see 19 fucking pings on my map like do this do that do this do that i didn't know what the fuck to do i w i was in like a a point of like um analysis paralysis is what i like to call it for real like I, I was i was paralyzed with analyzing all these things and these choices and what the fuck what the fuck's an elder brain like what am i doing but the game is just so beautiful like stylistically like graphics wise sure beautiful but even like dialogue like i hadn't i'm gonna take it back real quick have you played Telltale games? Yes. You've played the Telltale The Walking Dead, right? Yes. You fucking bawled your eyes out mm -hmm. at the end of season one, right? Oh, hell yeah. Fucking same, brother. Like, I, I, I hadn't felt that for a character since then, right? With Lee and Clementine. Mm -hmm. I was fucking bawling my eyes out at, like, near the end of Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. Because... These characters are so well written and they're so well acted that it's like you're literally like you're that person's friend. Like that like that's a person. That that's not a video game character at that point. Like once you've gotten that far in the game, that was fucking 80, 90 hours that I spent with that motherfucker. Like that was a full blown relationship I got with Carlac, all right? You know what? It's actually a little similar. Taking him back to Stardew, there's some scenes that are so emotional, and I'm like, I wonder if it would be even more emotional if there was voice acting with these characters. Oh, forget about it, dude. Forget about it. If I gotta hear, if I gotta hear Shane breaking down on the ground crying, <laughs> I'm done, dude. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really cool to imagine what they, or what they sound like. Um. And I'm so glad that the text isn't like, like <laughs> type shit. Yeah. <laughs> Do you speak Animal Crossing? No, I don't think so. Don't Can you speak to. Simlish? I I did a while back, but I can't do it fluently. Can you? Let's hear it right now. You said you did a while back, so I mean. Well, not fluently. It's like. Yeah, but know. like I mean, like. Ah. all right all right is that okay I feel, I feel you. that's perfect there you go you're welcome anyone who's asking for that you got rob z speaking simlish 
I don't even know what I said. <laughs> Who knows what Sims are saying? Like, what, what, what do you know about Baldur's Gate? That there's this one character that everyone's thirsting after, and that there's okay. This... That's like every character in the video game. <laughs> well, this guy has like white hair. Oh, yep. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> Bant boy. Yep. <laughs> and then yep. There's some kind of like treasure chest or something that's got like fangs and a long. Oh, top. a mimic. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay. So, wait how how much do you know about D and D? Oh, quite a lot. I've I've played a few sessions. Wait, so you know about D and D, but mm. you don't know much about Baldur's? Mm. Why? How's it similar? What? So Baldur's Gate takes place in the world of like the the D and D universe. Oh, for real? Oh, that's yeah. why there's like so many options. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. No, yeah, it's it's literally like you're playing a D and D campaign. Like it's like a full full fledged D and D campaign. Do you know about Disco Elysium? Disco Elysium, I heard that. What is that? So, I, I literally heard that today. It's an interesting, like I think it's like a, it's it's like a D and D based game, but it's like you wake up from a hangover, but now you have to make choices in what you do. And I would recommend it to you. It's very good. I, I don't know what the genre is. I don't know what. Well, I'd love to look it up now, but I can't. Probably like a typical CRPG. I'm not sure. CRPG? What's C? Yeah, it's a, just computer. Computer role-playing game. Okay. And the voices are very good. I think you'd like it a lot. Um, you can choose what kind of character you want to be. I think it's crime-solving. Um, mm. And then you have your charisma, you have your strength, you have your dexterity, you have your intelligence. and yeah, wisdom. <laughs> yeah so it's it's kind of like that okay so now we're going into character types and i could basically use this as a segue for how's that special show that special show yeah oh yeah that special show <laughs> right yeah. right um it's, it's hold fucking... on let me get my pit boy and figure out um, yeah Fucking brilliant. Have, <laughs> yeah. have you finished it? Did you finish no, it yet? No, I'm, I just I started episode three now. Mm. <laughs> what? But, Damn, but I saw I that like... fight scene in two, and I saw the mm. ending, and like spoilers, she has to cut that guy's head off. What? She has to cut the guy's head off at the end of oh, episode. Oh, right. Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Damn, I don't know how I forgot that. How the hell did I forget? Bro, legit, I thought that he was a synth when I first watched it. I was like, oh my God, is he a synth? Uh, I was all excited. I was like, Fallout 4? Oh, geez. Yeah, so a lot of people feel like the series is based off of 1 and 2 and yeah. that the ending mm -hmm. kind of leads to season 2 being New Vegas. Yep. Okay, so where is Fallout 1 and 2 based? Uh, They're in California. They're in California, so that's on the West Coast of the United States. That's where the show takes place. And literally, they even mention places from the game in the show, like Shady Sands and whatnot. Like, it's a major part of the show and Fallout 1 and 2. So, like, yeah, 100%. It's going to be in New Vegas as well. I, I already know the motherfucker's going to see Mr. House, like... People know, like, if people have seen it and you played New Vegas, New Vegas is the one of the major players in New Vegas is Robert House. So, so do you think, like, yeah. season three will be based off of Fallout 4? Season three? Yeah, I don't know, because, like, season two is going to be New Vegas. Oh, yeah. They're, I mean, if they do... I'm sure they will. I it's... don't know fantastic that's cinematography i i've loved the first two episodes i've seen and i love that it's a comedy oh my god how how the guy just flew over with his suit oh yeah i was yeah, getting ready for the interview and i just ah! it is very fallout like it is very very <laughs> fallout like like you've played well ha have you played many of the fallout games or no just the beginning of fallout 4 okay well there is a perk in fallout new vegas oh and i play fallout shelter 
Mobile oh, gaming. Yeah. Well, well, Fallout Shelter. Wait, so that's yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but in Fallout 4, there's a perk called I think it's called Wild Wasteland, where okay. literally it changes the game in a sense that like just crazy shit can happen, right? Like there could be a crass alien mm -hmm. ship. Like there, there's this wacky, crazy shit that happens that, like you know, make the game a little silly and fun, right? That make fun of itself. That's literally what the show has. Like the show just has wild wasteland in it, and I, I love it because it, it kind of caters to the fans of Fallout. That like, I mean, who, who doesn't love the wild wasteland? Like if you played a Fallout game and you see wild wasteland, you're, you're taking that perk. It's, it's so fun. It makes things silly. You get an alien blaster. Like, it's fun. So given this, um, I I have high hopes for a Bioshock series. And my favorite game is Bioshock Infinite. So no, mm -hmm. 1 and 2. I do know about 1 and 2. I played quite a bit of Bioshock 1. But it's Infinite that has my heart. That's definitely mm -hmm. one of my most favorite games. But, like, I see the actress, what's her name? Elle? I forgot her surname. Like she's she voices Jinx in Arcane and she plays mm -hmm. Lucy in Fallout, but I see her as Anna Dewitt in Infinite. I only wish that I could have played the Bioshock games. Like I've watched a good friend of mine play through uh, Bioshock One, so I I've literally seen all of the games. Right, like I've seen them played through. They seem great. The only one mm -hmm. I haven't seen is Infinite, which oh god, maybe one day I'll play it. Maybe one day. So good. I would recommend that to you for sure. So you have mm. two wrecks from me now. You have Disco Elysium and Bioshock Infinite to try out. Right. I think you'll enjoy both. I only have one to recommend, and that is Baldur's Gate. <laughs> sink hundreds um, of hours into that. What about Dragon's Dragon Dogma? Dragon's Dogma. Oh, Dragon's Dogma. Like I I want I want to want to play it, you know? <laughs> I, I want to want to play it, but at the same time, I'm worried because of all the like mixed stuff that people were saying about with microtransactions and shit. Like, why? Right, why right, would you right. put microtransactions in a single player narrative game? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, to customize your character. Yeah. Like, ju just to yeah. change the look of your character. <laughs> hey, $3. Like, hello? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hello? Hello? Uh, okay, here's the thing, guys. Merrick has his own little category of like catchphrases and stuff. That's amazing. I like, say things. Just the other day, I learned about Looter Scooter, which I swear you came up with by yourself. Looter Shooter. I did not. Oh, Looter Scooter. Looter Shooter. Looter Shooter. <laughs> and I said Scooter. Looter Shooter. No, I did not <laughs> coin that phrase. I don't know who did, but whoever did, they described Destiny perfectly. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so that's yeah. another favorite of yours. Do you prefer Destiny 1 or 2? How dare you? Why? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. Like, so like both? Well, yeah, but like, that. so, ah, uh, Destiny, man. Fucking Destiny. <laughs> it's like, I've played that that franchise. I've played it for 10 years, right? Well, nine and a half, almost 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Um, That's like one of the biggest debates in like the Destiny community ever. It's right. D1 or D2, which is better. Clearly Destiny 2 uh, is better, uh, right? Like, like clearly it's better okay. when it comes to like gameplay wise, game mechanics, like just... Of course, the look, the feel, Destiny 2 is going to be better. But D1 has that, like, nostalgia. Because if it wasn't for D1, mm. if it wasn't for Destiny 1, you would not be interviewing me. You would not be talking <laughs> to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that's, that, like, that's literally the game that made me start streaming, right? Like, that's the game mm. that it started me. It helped me meet some of my best friends. Like, if it wasn't for D1, I would have never met retro would have never met Ames, would have never met Manny, would have never, I would have never met any of these people, right? Mm. So it's like I I genuinely can't say which is my favorite, right? Cuz like if it comes to like what would I have more fun playing? Sure, it'd be D2, mm -hmm. right? Like it's the more modern game, it has more mechanics, more fun factor, but 
D1, it had that like nostalgia and like me, uh, it, dude, I was severely depressed way mm -hmm. back then, right? I'm sorry. So like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> not saying that I'm not now, but like, you know. Um, <laughs> You're handling uh, it better, I hope. Well, well, um, but that game, I, I was, I was in a really, really bad mental state back then in D1, like 2014, 2014, 2015 was not great, right? And I was very antisocial. I literally would go to work, hate life, come home, play video games for a couple hours, go to bed, just rinse and repeat, right? How and did like, you uh, handle the pandemic, by the way? Sorry, it's a side note. Uh, Pretty all right, I guess. Oh, and that's what made you like really enjoy being an introvert and not going out. Like, oh, yeah, dude, like, <laughs> like, like I never went out to begin with. Like, oh, I was chilling. <laughs> Nothing changed. <laughs> oh, it's just but, a normal um, day. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I, I guess it made me stream a little bit more. New World came out around that time. So New World helped. But uh, no, with, with Destiny, Destiny's a social game. It's a very social game. You're not going to get very far in that game as a solo player. So like, I, I knew that, but I still played it solo for a long time. Then once I started streaming, I realized people wanted to play with me or people wanted people to play with in the game. I never used the chat function in Destiny 1. I never joined VCs with people. But this was like Xbox party chat. I never joined Xbox parties with people. But that game kind of like, it kind of forced me out of like that comfort zone, right? Because like, I wanted to do the raids required six people. I wanted to do like the, the higher end, harder content, but they all required three to six people. So in streaming, it helped me kind of get out of that shell and talk to people and make friends, meet people, and in a sense, grow my stream. Like, I played Destiny for, fuck, the entire duration of Destiny 1, like, since launch till the end, like, Rise of Iron, launch of D2, and I met so many people, uh, played with a lot of people, some really great friends started making content so yeah thanks to destiny i guess thanks thanks to bungie there's another game that i would start watching your streams a lot more that oh god are you gonna say it are you gonna say it mm -hmm. gonna, how dare you, how dare you? <laughs> all right go ahead Rawr. ew can't <laughs> believe you've done this <laughs> what are you a heckin dilophosaur what are you <laughs> I'd say a Diplodocus or a, a Diplo or okay. a Brontosaurus. A Brachiosaur. I... Brachiosaurus. There we go. There we go. I get the two mixed one up. One of them. Diplo or Brachiosaurus. Oh, there's like nine of them, dude. There's so many different ones, <laughs> but um, so many sauropods. There's so, you can't name so, this one. Anyway, we're talking about Ark in case nobody knew. Yeah. Ark <laughs> Survival Evolved, not Survival Ascended. Um, yeah, that game, that 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 was definitely a video game. Um I I did fall in love with the, I, I still do love the survival genre of games. Like once who was it? I don't remember who it was that I saw playing um H1Z1 way back in the day, but I had never seen a survival game. So when I saw that, I was like, this is really cool. Then Ark was becoming like early access back then. Still is early access in my opinion, but whatever. Um, when I played Ark, it tickled all of the pickles. You know what I'm saying? It 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 just ticked every box for me. Like there was dinosaurs. I loved dinosaurs as a kid. There was the survival aspect. I've always wanted to play some sort of survival game, but there was really nothing on console at the time. So Ark that's another one that really blew up my stream um yeah can arc people always were looking for people to play on that game i never really knew 
because at that point I kind of already had like a pretty decent established like group of friends that I always played with. Then I decided to make a server for everyone to join and mm -hmm. I opened up like a community server. And then people from the community were like, hey, I could make a server for you. Hey, I, I can give you this server too. So next thing I knew, we had six servers, like all going at one time. That's and great. quite a few people like playing on like a cluster. We had a bunch of a bunch of people just together playing Ark, surviving, riding so dinos. <laughs> so I just want to give a shout out because we're talking about your community i want to give a shout out to three amazing people that i've gotten to know on your um, server is affinity aims and retro franco and artsy Ven. you are all amazing and i love that you've been supporting mark for so long and been so good to him and that you're so welcoming and i've made amazing friends because you've been so kind to me so yeah shout out <laughs> oh yeah they're great so about your mma this guy is so passionate about mma it's just it's fascinating to hear it every time he mentions it i mean like the, i need some sort of like <laughs> like you can't just say talk about <laughs> mma i mean there's there's too much what do you what do you mean just talk about it like what's your there's... favorite fighting move my favorite fighting move <laughs> fighting move yeah okay bud <laughs> oh man oh no man i mean i i i did jujitsu for like what seven eight years so i mean i'm i like i i do love mma right like mm -hmm. i love mma but my first love was always jujitsu so which that's basically submission grappling um basically a lot of groundwork not too much in the striking department basically nothing in the striking department i didn't really start training like striking or anything until like maybe the last year two years of like training i didn't really work any any sparring or no i mean the sparring that i did was like grappling right like so it was all submissions it was all um basically just wrestling like basically what it was i i guess to try to get you to understand it it was you know submission wrestling i didn't do any striking uh when i did start doing striking i was terrified um i was awful which is expected um i still think i'm awful i still think i'm really awful no like i think the only time that i've like done anything recently was like um i do have a friend that still trains he still fights um cool. i've i guess consulted him i've never really trained him but i've like mm -hmm. i've watched stuff with him and i'll try to like give him some sort of pointers but it's just all like jujitsu based like he's a, he he's a much better striker than me i i can't show him anything he hasn't she he hasn't seen i can't coach sheen? him on any Did sheen you just yeah. Say sheen? <laughs> yeah i said sheen <laughs> I we're can't not, coach him on anything that out. <laughs> ever. No, that's fine. <laughs> like, I, I can't coach him or show him anything that he's never seen. Like, I just, that's not going to happen. But when it comes to jujitsu, he will openly come to me with stuff and be like, hey, mm. I have a really good wrestler that I'm going against. Um, I would like to know what I could do in certain situations. Like, if I do get taken down, how can I somehow get out of this position? How can I retain guard? How like stuff like that? Like I, I can help people in that regard, but shit, I'm not a fucking coach. Like, I, like yeah. if anything, I would be more of like a jujitsu, like a, just a pure straight jujitsu coach. Like I can maybe help some people when it comes to like a blue belt level. All right. Like if, if you're like a blue belt, if you're like a purple belt, maybe I can give you some pointers and stuff. But outside of that, nah, dude. I there's <laughs> nah, no way. Dude. I, nah, dude. Nah, dude. Especially because, like, especially now, right? Like now, the game's changed so much from like back then. Like okay. now, you got people like uh, Raúl Rosas Jr., who's now fighting in the UFC. The kid's like 18 or 19. He's a fucking prodigy. 
like this kid is so good. I remember watching him at a um an EBI, which is Eddie Bravo Invitational. I remember watching him do this and for being such a young he was like 17. He was 17 against guys who have been doing this his entire life mm -hmm. for more than 10, 15 years. And he's just he's effortlessly like beating these guys and he's literally like he'll stop he'll stop and look at the crowd and just smile because it's too easy for this kid with how good he is when it comes to jujitsu now he just recently did lose in the ufc but that's full-blown mma it's different it's a totally okay. different game. so now like speaking of jujitsu do you watch anime do I watch anime? I know exactly where that's going. I have not seen that. The amount of people I've had tell me to watch it. I what is it called? Jujutsu Kaisen or something like mm -hmm. that? Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I have that's not my seen next rec for you. So now okay. you have three things to try. <laughs> I've already forgot the other. No, I remember one. I don't never mind. I don't remember. What were the other two? So Bioshock was one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium, there you go. I think you'll Jesus. like it. I was about to say, Jesus, we've only been talking like 30 minutes and I already forgot. <laughs> it's fine. God, I'm the worst. Thank you so much, Mark, for joining me. I really appreciate you. And I, I just really enjoy your streams because your dialect, it's so calming. I just enjoy listening to you. It sounds weird. But like you're always friendly and welcoming and kind. And I wish you well for your future endeavors, whatever it may be. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. And I hope you enjoy your evening. And uh, yes, yes. If you would like to follow Mark, um, I will post all the links in the description below. He's got like Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and YouTube. And most importantly, Twitch. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I mostly just, I stream on Twitch. I play video games on the internet. Um, sometimes I'm funny. Uh, Honestly, I don't really post anything anywhere else. Let's be real. <laughs>